Hi my friends. Let's model the part number 43, uh, coupling flange from my collection of 100 parts. The picture of this uh, flange is here. As you can see, there are some channels, some cuts, yes, and some holes. Let's take a look at the drawing. There are some difficulties in sketches, but no more than this. Let's start and we'll see. We start with two circles. Uh, 138 is the major diameter and 55 is the minor diameter. And then we deal with uh, this cut to be multiplied around. The major circle of 138, the minor of 55, home to see all, and now we create this uh, cut with these dimensions, which are 50 degrees. 16 radius to 48 to this point and then uh, we'll uh, multiply it around the uh, circle we draw two lines not perpendicular at an angle of 50 with this point placed on the same horizontal with the center point a new line a vertical which has 16 dimension the radius 48 which is a distance for us 48 and now let's make equal these two lines to be symmetrical then split and split to make these construction lines. I suppose that uh, the alignment, oh no, I have to apply this collinearity. Good, we have a good start here. Now I uh, apply circular pattern for only these lines white to be all around this axis in six instances okay good I apply split to every cut we start with two cuts and then only one you know why yes I explain this a circle cannot be cut it in uh, one point only in two to obtain two arcs good now I select all these segments to make them as a construction
construction. I didn't miss. Oh, this is wrong. Okay. Finish sketch. F6. Extrude this on 18. 18 not symmetrical good now I create on this face lines for that channels the first line and the second line without any dimension finish sketch the depth is 9 you see this is the section 9 and uh, extrude this contour this contour cut 9 ok we multiply this in 3 this is to be multiplied and this is the axis in 3 not 6 okay you can see that we respect the drawing now let's work to this construction with the uh, circle radius 27 at the distance of 78.75 yes and placed in the middle of this protuberance and then we draw another contour to be limits for an extrusion okay a circle with the radius of uh, 27 placed at a distance of uh, 78.75 but we also draw a line construction line from this point to this point no more construction to be to contain this midpoint yes we know that this is an arc an arc has a midpoint and we can uh, constrain this line to be here this means that we don't add any other dimension and this is a good procedure now that line uh, has a parallel at 3 millimeters with uh, radius 62 from the center and 66 degrees between this and this or uh, between the center line then uh, we have to draw another circle with the radius of 23.5 circle the same center 23.5 radius then a contour with a parallel line and another line okay okay we apply parallel to be constrained apply three millimeters as you saw and 66 degrees between this and this placed somewhere here 66 now we trim some 
segments from these circles and we add other arcs one two three point one two at the ends and then somewhere on the existing circle the last dimension is from this point to the center radius 62 good finish sketch extrude we extrude this but not adding material but cutting on an uh, on a depth of nine yes this is the section with nine is the same nine like this nine but I advise you that there is another line here the uh, the, the depth of this uh, counterbore three nine are here you have to be very careful with this because uh, they are uh, identical and this is the good news nine okay and now circular pattern for the last around this circle now circular pattern of this feature about this axis in three instances okay very good we go to this uh, uh, counter bar 14 90 uh, 14 9 and the diameter of 9 let's apply a point here point on the same vertical with the center point at a distance of uh, 80 divided by 2 yes dimension 80 divided by 2 finish sketch hole counter bar now we apply the procedure from uh, the former tutorial now this is the dimension of uh, the hole we apply uh, that dimension of uh, 9 tab all is ok tab again uh, diameter of the counter bore is 14 now is not red because it was 4 uh, smaller than 9 and this is on red presented tab the depth is 9 the third 9 in this uh, object that's all tab to uh, go to other you see this is also dimensioned here okay so this is the counter bar we have to multiply in six instances circular pattern of this feature about this axis in six instances okay f6 this is the part my friends we apply uh, 
material uh, still carbon and uh, we are happy to place still polished all over yes this is a part to be nice what are its data I properties physical update 1.3 kilograms that's all for the moment bye bye